New Englanders Dr. Emma Farrar and Dr. Edla Sperry were Pittsburgh's first female physicians. They had become close companions since their youth, during which time Edla became fascinated with becoming a doctor. She was determined to attend the Women's Medical College in Philadelphia, one of the very few medical schools accepting female students at the time. Inspired, Emma Farrar traveled with Edla and joined her in study. The women then traveled on to Paris, where both enrolled at the city's maternity hospital. Although she wasn't passionate about the medical field, Dr. Farrar was deeply devoted to Dr. Sperry, who returned her devotion, and they remained by each other's side from Philadelphia, then on to Paris. Fleeing an epidemic that hit Paris, the women decided to set up their offices in Pittsburgh. They arrived in 1873 and began their practice on Ross Street downtown. They established a standard of strong female leadership by hiring and mentoring women who were also pioneers in the city's medical field. Farrar and Sperry were highly regarded by some of their male contemporaries. However, most of their male peers and the general public remained skeptical and rejected their services. Female physicians of the era refused to be referred to as lady doctors, preferring to establish in the public's mind that they were equal to their male counterparts. Nevertheless, widespread prejudice hindered them professionally for some time. Not only did Farrar and Sperry have difficulty finding office space and attracting patients, to top it all off, only one pharmacist in town would fill their prescriptions accurately. Embarking on their chosen profession was neither easy nor profitable causing doctors Farrar and Sperry to live frugally and simply during the early years of their practice. Gradually, the sexism that kept the public from consulting with female physicians gave way as word of their competence and compassion began to win over patients, especially those of their own gender. This alleviated Pittsburghers' bias, allowing for a steady increase in the number of women practicing in Pittsburgh. Just seven years after the women had established their practice, and it had begun to grow modestly profitable, Edla Sperry was diagnosed with cancer. Dr. Farrar responded by closing their office and devoting herself to providing full-time care for her lifelong companion. After Edla's death, Dr. Farrar resumed seeing patients at her office on 6th Street. But she soon lost what little interest in medicine she had. Her involvement had always depended on Dr. Sperry's enthusiasm and passion. As Emma aged, she limited her practice only treating patients who actively sought her medical services. In 1897, she gave up her medical practice and moved back to New England to care for her sister, who fell victim to an unidentified, debilitating illness. Upon her return to Pittsburgh, she took up residence at the Hotel Schlosser. That year, press reporter Jeanette Barber visited and interviewed Dr. Farrar in her sparsely furnished rooms. Barber's eyes fell upon the room's only adornment, a small oval frame holding a portrait of a young Edla Sperry. When asked, Farrar explained that it had been painted long ago, during their years in Paris. Neither woman ever married, instead choosing only each other's company. Until her own death in 1922, Dr. Farrar continued with the mission that she and Dr. Sperry had undertaken decades ago, caring for the health of women in Pittsburgh and beyond.